21 years ago. I was a student studying human biology, but in fact we were only partying. We had a lot of fun. We even created a new casino to be invited to all these parties and paid for it and got free drinks. So life could not be better. And one morning we were sitting in our kitchen just chatting about the evening before and we were disturbed by a sound. Someone was knocking all the time. And we thought that was our friend upstairs trying to shut us down because we were talking too loud. So I walked up to his room to ask and then everything changed. He wasn't calling us to shut down, he was asking for help. He had a major stroke, 27 year old, lying on the floor, couldn't talk, couldn't talk but only bang on the floor. He just survived the first week and I was sitting in the hospital bed next to him and I had to arrange my next internship. So I had to make a call to, uh, to the university and I said, what's my subject going to be about? And can you imagine, they offered me to work in collaboration with a pharmaceutical company on a new treatment for stroke, for his disease, at his bed. So that set my brain and my heart on fire. At that time I started to study and study hard and long to learn everything, how can I get medication to work in the brain. That was a very difficult task. And once I was doing that, I got another shock. I learned that new medications were not made in universities. Maybe there was good science, but they did not translate it into a new treatment. And I worked in pharmaceutical companies and they didn't pick up all these very new things. It was too risky. So once I realized I had been working for years in the wrong place, I took that decision. I stopped my, uni my university job and I started a company. That was 14 years ago. And 14 years ago, I did not have money. I did not have a patent. I had no product. I had no experience. I didn't even have the gray hairs I have today. But what I did have was an idea and the total commitment to make it into a new product. So that's what I did. What I want to share today is how my company now makes these new kind of products, what it means for people with brain cancer and for other brain diseases like multiple sclerosis. And I'm going to ask you for your help. I will come back to that later. So what we're doing as a company, and I'm going to show you a picture of our brain, but then it's brain made out of blood vessels. Look at this, you have an enormous amount of blood vessels in your brain. Hardly anyone knows that. And what these blood vessels do, they supply your, blood, uh, your brain with food and sugars. And the length of all these blood vessels is from Amsterdam to Paris. It's a very long amount, very long stretch. What these blood vessels also do is protect your brain. That's the so-called blood-brain barrier. And they protect your brain cells from everything that's not sugar and food. And they keep that out. And modern medicine don't look like sugar. And they don't look like food. So they're kept out too. So how can we get that in? We cannot just shut down that barrier because it's important. It protects your brain. So what we've done is we mimic these medication as if they are sugar. Or food for the brain. And that way we smuggle them in. That's what we do as a technology. So how does that look like? Well, I use these candies. Not in real, of course. But what do these candies do? You all know M&Ms. M&Ms have a peanut on the inside. The peanut is the drug. But the brain doesn't like that one. So we wrap it around with a nice thick layer of chocolate so that the body likes it. It's smooth, it stays long in the body. But that's still not enough. And we have that red coating around it. And that red color coat, that's the sugar for the brain. <coughs> the other colors do not get into the brain. And we have a patent on one of these red colors to get the drugs into the brain. So we made the first product out of this. And we, we target brain cancer. Brain cancer is a very difficult disease. It's, it's, it's still a deadly disease for patients. Several years ago, at least one chemotherapy came to, the, came to the patients. And before every patient died within a year, and now with this one chemotherapy, 
about 20% of the patients have a chance to survive longer. Three years, some even five years. And that is a lot of extra time for patients <coughs> with such a disease. Now what we want to do is create one more of these chemotherapies to help more patients to, to fight their disease. So that's what my lab did. In my lab we worked on that. So this is how these red M&Ms look like once it's a pharmaceutical product. We have made a drug with that coating to get it into the brain. And this drug we have developed and even taken to patients now. It's been studied in patients with brain cancer that have no treatment option anymore. Everything failed before and now they can take our drug. It's, it's ongoing in the Netherlands, in Belgium, in France, and we just started even in America. And the doctors are very enthusiastic because these patients that did not have an option, a large proportion of them is starting to react. And let me give you one example. There was a lady, young lady, breast cancer that spread to the brain. 12 prior treatments did not help her. And now for the first time on our drug, the tumor started to respond. And she's been on treatment more than half a year and she's still going good. So we're very happy with that. Not only for her, but also for the product, so that it can reach the next stage. The same product we try, or the same M&M's technology, we try to other drugs now as well. One of them is for multiple sclerosis. That will enter also a human study at the end of this year. And in our lab we make many more combinations to treat more brain diseases. And that's what I wanted to do for my friend, but that was already 21 years ago. But finally I've realized that. So. What I'm trying to ask for you is not for money, because it's very expensive to do this. So I can never ask for money. But what I can ask is something that you help me with. But first I want to tell you, do you know how much the costs are for having brain diseases? It's $960 billion per year in Europe. So it's a huge amount of cost. But again, I'm not going to ask for money. But really, you can help me <laughs> by something else. If you or your loved ones are confronted with a disease, demand a cure, demand a treatment. Many diseases are without treatment, but if you demand that, what will happen is you create a climate where it's the small innovative companies like mine that get the support to create them for you. That's my question. Thanks.